Okay, have you ever come back to your car and had the dreaded warning either on your cell phone or on the main screen telling you you've got a flat tire? Or maybe you've just got different tire pressures across all the tires. If either one of those things have happened to you, well, I've got a solution for you. I've got this Fantic Apex X8 battery-powered tire inflator that I purchased. And one of the great things about it is it has a tire pressure cutoff. So when you plug it in and you set that tire pressure to 42 PSI, it will stop at 42 PSI. And then you can do that to all the tires and then all your tires will be the same. The other thing is if you rely on a tow truck or Tesla uh, service to come and get you out of a spot, you just might not have time to get to where you need to go. If you just got a slow leak on your tire, you can quickly inflate your tire and then get yourself down to the local discount tire or Canadian tire, whatever it is, and get that tire fixed. So it's good to have a tire inflator in your car. Previously, before having this one, I used a, a cigarette lighter uh, style where you just throw it in the trunk and then never had to worry about it. But then you got to plug it in and move it around with that cord. So this one's much better because you just take it out of the container, attach the hose because the hose comes off, and then you just go ahead and inflate your tires. So I'll show you what's on my screen right now, and we'll go outside. We'll get through this. So you can see on my screen, I let the front left tire air out. It's not a flat tire. I just let the air out. But it did give me that warning in... Uh, red or orange or whatever color that is. I also got a notification on my cell phone telling me that my tire is extremely low and to get that fixed. That's one thing that could happen to you. The other is you can see like I have 39 PSI on one, 41 on another, and 41. I like to keep them all the same. So having an inflator that stops automatically at a specified pressure is really nice to have. So let's go outside, we'll plug this in and uh, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here's the Fantic Apex X8 uh, tire inflator. It's fairly small, it's got a really nice display here. And again, the hose comes off so it's easy to pack away. Now I did upgrade this to a lever style instead of the screw on type, because I just don't like those. This is much faster to take off. And so you can adjust everything from here so we'll show some of that uh, in close-ups, but I'm gonna go ahead. You can see down there, my tire is totally flat. And then down there, that tire is pretty flat as well, over here. So all we're gonna do is we take this piece right here and we screw it in. So once it's fully t plugged in, and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the tire pressure switch by just holding the middle button. And right now I have it set to 41. So what I found is if I set the Fantic to 41, it actually shows 42 on the uh, Tesla app. So that's where I'm gonna place this. And so all we're gonna have to do is take this, plug this onto the tire and then turn it on and then just wait for it to air up. Okay, so you can see right there, I'm going to put this at 41 PSI. And all we need to do is remove the valve cover cap. Slide that on. You can see it's 37. So you can see it's 37 uh, PSI. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on.
So now that it's stopped, we're just going to go ahead and quickly remove it and put on the valve cover cap. Now we're just going to go to the front tire here. So once again, I haven't turned it off, so we'll just go ahead and take the valve cover off. And attach the hose. You can see that we're at 24 PSI. Okay, so we'll just put this cap on. Now we're just gonna walk around, go to the other side. These won't take as long because they're only at 41 or something already, so. Okay. So once again, we'll take off the valve cover cap. So you can see this one's showing 39, so we'll just turn it on. Just make sure you always put the valve cover cap back on. It is something you could easily forget. Take this cover off. Let's stick that in there so we can see. So you can see it's 39. And this is it. We'll just take this one off. Put that cap back on. So let's go ahead, we'll look at some of these settings here. So you can see right here, just let's go back. So you can see right here, it's still got three bars after inflating all the tires, so that's pretty good. Now, like I said, I set mine to 41, which actually puts the Tesla saying 42. And so if you want to change the pressure, you just go down for lowering and up to increase the pressure. You can go to different presets. So this is a car preset. Not sure if you can see that. There's a car, a motorcycle, and bicycle. And then you've got the um, ball inflator. I leave mine on my custom one, and like I say, I just set it to 41. Now when you're finished with this, you just take this off, and then to power it off, you just press and hold the power button, and that's it. So we've got three bars, so I'll bring this home and I'll charge it back up to full. Now I'll show you a case. So as you see, I've got this the Fantic. So 
So this is the Fantic Apex X8. And so it comes in two pieces like this. And so what you're gonna do is I purchased this nice little case for it so I can protect it. It does come with a bag, but I like this case better. So I'll put a link for this as well as the case in the uh, description. But all I do is tuck it in there like that. Then I take the hose. pack it away like this and then I close it up but it will definitely protect it so now I just throw this in the uh, the hole underneath the uh, in the trunk there and that's all I do if you're interested in purchasing one of these Fantic Apex X8 tire inflators I've got a link down in the description we also have the case here as well and that hose the original hose that came with it was a screw-on type I don't like those so I actually bought that piece as well, or I bought that piece. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.